In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to find somebody's age just by knowing their birthday and then having that display dynamically on the spreadsheet. So right here we have our personnel database and you can see I added a new column uh, under the K column called age. Right next to it we have all of the birthdays for each of our employees. So the very first thing we're going to do because to, in order to calculate this, we're going to use a formula and we're going to start out with equal sign. And the way we're going to calculate this is using a int formula, int, start out the brackets, and then we're going to take today's day, and the today's date being dynamic, so tomorrow will change to tomorrow's day, so on and so forth. So we're going to take today's day and then subtract their birthday, so click on that cell and it'll add in whatever their birthday is and we have to make sure with today that we also add empty brackets right afterwards and then we're going to divide that by 365.25 now when uh, you may wonder why we're taking the adding the .25 and it's because of the leap year we have to make sure that we include that or else uh, eventually as time goes on the spreadsheet would actually become obsolete and it'd be inaccurate. Uh, it, with its current formula at 365.25 uh, it won't start to become inaccurate for about 400 years so you should be good. Now in this formula it is important because Excel does not read these from left to right it reads it just like in algebra so division and multiplication become uh, start those actually get calculated prior to addition or subtraction so we need to make sure we put brackets before today and after the cell number and so that way brackets always get calculated first so the way Excel is going to do it they're going to subtract the day then divide it by the year put brackets at the end hit enter and as you can see it gets populated all the way down and usually uh, like I always do in these tutorials I've run through it just to make sure the formula works and when you do it for the first time it'll just give you this first cell you can see our formula up there and it's pulling the J2 which is a Jimmy Buffett birthday to calculate this for all of them you take the fill box scroll pull it drag it all the way down and you can see the birthday for each one of the employees is now there you have all the way from 25 years old all the way past 60 years old and as time goes on these birthdays or these ages will change when the birthday comes around and it will get switched over as they get older. So this is a, a really nice way to dynamically have the ages for anybody that you have on a spreadsheet and have it update without having you to change it manually.